Hey, what's going on, everyone, and welcome back to a new video. It's been such a long time. It's been over a month since my last video, and I'm finally back from my winter break. So in this video, I'm going to show you my iPhone 6 jailbroken setup, how I customize my iPhone 6 using Cydia tweaks and themes. All right, first, let's take a look at the lock screen. In order to install themes on your lock screen, you need to install a tweak called Groovy Lock. So this is kind of like Winterboard, but it's for your lock screen. And the lock screen theme I used is called Cataracts. So you can see my battery percentage, the time, and the date is in this rectangular box. To get this lock screen, you have to manually install it. It's a very simple process. You just have to download the lock screen file, which I'm going to put in the video description, and connect your phone to your computer, and you need to use uh, SSH software. In this case, I'm going to use iFunBox. So open up iFunBox and go to Raw File Systems, and then navigate to VAR, Mobile, Library, and Groovy Lock. And now simply drag the Cataracts file into the Groovy Lock folder. And then you can go to your iPhone into Settings and enable this lock screen. On the lock screen down here at the bottom, you can see this animation for my fingerprint sensor. So this tweak is called Lock Glyph. So the tweak I used for my passcode lock is called Sleek Code. This allows me to blur the background and also remove the outer circle on the numbers. Another very useful tweak is called Hide Me 8. This tweak allows you to hide different elements on your device. For example, on my lock screen, I hid the CC grabber and the NC grabber, which are the control center and the notification center grabbers. All right, now let's move on to my home screen. So the icon theme I'm using is called Soft for iOS 8. You can also see that I have customized my icon badges. So the city of tweak I used is called Blurry Badges. It simply matches the color of the badges to the colors of the icon. I also decreased the size of my icons using Sprintimize 3. So to change the size of the icons, you just have to go into Pages, and down here you can change the icon size. I also changed my icons to three columns, and also adjusted the vertical and horizontal paddings. As you can see, I have a dark background color in my Settings app. The tweak I used is called Eclipse 2. Basically, this allows you to change the background color of many different applications. You can also see on my home screen, I have a few widgets. To install widgets on your home screen, you need to install a tweak called iWidgets. The clock widget on the top is called Stripe, and the Google search widget is called Search Widget. So after downloading these widgets, just hold on to your home screen, and you have the option to change settings and enable these widgets. In order to leave spaces for the widgets, I used another tweak called iBlank. Basically, this creates a bunch of blank icons, which I placed on the top half of my home screen for my widgets. Okay, now I'm going to show you some tweaks I used for my status bar. On the left, you can see an Apple logo that replaced my carrier text. So the tweak is called Zeppelin, and inside settings, you can choose between many different icons or symbols to replace your carrier text with. Another very useful tweak is called Protein. This allows you to move around or organize the information on your status bar. So for example, you can move the time to the left or your battery indicator to the center, stuff like that. It's quite useful, it's called Protein. In the center of the status bar, you can see the day of the week, the date, and also the time. To get this format, you just have to go into Hide Me 8 and go to Status Bar. Scroll to the bottom and you have the option to change the time format for your status bar. If you want to have the exact time format as me, just simply copy this format to your device. And for my battery indicator, the tweak is called Alkaline. It's a very simple free tweak. This just changes the design of the battery indicator. By the way, the font I'm using for my device is called Berio for iOS 8. Inside my notification center, I do have a few widgets. You can just download these apps in the App Store and I'm gonna put the application links in the video description. For my control center, the main tweak I used is called OXO3. This tweak has many features, which of course I don't have the time to go through every feature in this video. So this tweak merges the control center and the multitasking switcher in one. A very useful feature is if you swipe up from the bottom left corner, you can actually quickly switch to different applications running in the background. And if you swipe from the right bottom corner, it will simply lock your device. And to close all the multitasking applications, just swipe up and you have the option to close all apps. Another control center tweak I used is called Polis. This allows you to change around and add more toggles on the top. And at the bottom shelf, I can rearrange 
change the settings, or add more shortcut applications. Now moving on to my messages application. I'm going to show you how I customize my messages. So the main tweak for this is called messages customizer. Inside the settings, you can change the color of the SMS or the iMessage bubbles. You can also change the app tint, background, and the info text. So as you can see, I added my custom background to my messages. By the way, if you're interested in using my wallpapers, I'm going to put the links to these in the video description. I also used Hide Me 8 to hide the messages bubble tails. And last but not least, for my keyboard, I used a tweak called Blord. This simply changes the color of the keyboard to a black and gray color. So this concludes my video on my iPhone 6 jailbroken setup. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. So first, I'm going to show you 15 Cydia tweaks for iOS 8, and then I'll move on to five of my favorite Winterboard themes.